Good morning students and welcome back to our online art class. Last time we studied about the classical orders of Greeks and Romans. Those are the Doric, Tuscan, Ionic, Corinthian, and Composite. This time, we are going to focus on some architectural designs around the world, such as the Eiffel Tower in France, Tower of Pisa in Italy, Colosseum in Italy, Sydney Opera House in Australia, St. Basil Cathedral in Russia, Parthenon of Greece, and the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Among these iconic buildings, there is one that almost failed, but because of the collaboration of great architects, they were able to come up with a solution. This is to stop the building from collapsing. And this is the Tower of Pisa in Italy. This tower was originally designed by Italian architect Bonanno Pisano. It stood straight only for five years upon completion of its initial construction, and then started leaning towards one side. It was estimated that the lean increases by an inch every 20 years. Over the years, several renowned architects put their heads together to come up with a solution to stop the tower from leaning further. They finally concurred to remove ground from under the high side instead of trying to add grounds under the low side. The restoration and repair work began in 1999 and finished in June of 2001. Straightening the tower by about 16 inches and returning it to the position it held in 1838 which is at 10 degree angle. Today, the engineers believe that it is safe for at least another 300 years. Let us now proceed with our activity for today, which is drawing the Tower of Pisa. These are the materials that we are going to use. Paper, pencils, ink pen, eraser, and sharpener. First, Let's draw a horizontal line, which represents our horizon. Then a vertical line on the left side. Now that we have a 90 degree angle, our goal is to draw a diagonal or slanting line at around 10 degree angle from this. So let's divide this into two, which gives us 45 degrees. Then let's divide it again into two and now we have 22.5 degrees and dividing it into two gives us 11.25 degrees so let's just move it a little bit to the left and now we have an estimate of 10 degree angle so let's erase the unnecessary lines Then let's mark the spaces that we need to start drawing the Tower of Pisa, which is an 8-story building. So from the bottom, or from our horizontal line, let's mark a 3cm space. Then let's make 1.5cm marks for the 7 spaces above. Now let's draw curved lines connecting to the other slanting line. Let's try to make these curved lines parallel with each other. Then 
Then let's double the line for our details later on. Now let's draw the construction of the top floor. From this point on, we are now going to draw the arches. So let's divide our first floor into five. Then let's extend these lines up to the seventh floor. Now, starting from the second floor up until the seventh floor, let's divide all these lines into two. So let's start drawing arches. I'm going to change my pencil to a permanent ink or an ink pen so you can easily see this. If you would like to continue with your pencil, that is totally fine. So what I'm doing right now is I'm drawing my initial sketch of pencil and changing it to ink. Just skip the first curve line because that will serve as our guideline later on for the arches. Then let us draw the round shapes in between the arches. This shape represents the head of the column or also known as the capital. The Tower of Pisa has Corinthian column designs. I will add a little bit of hatching under the arches just to have a sense of shadow and depth on our drawing.
I'm also making the lines below the arches darker to vary the line quality and to make it look more appealing. And now we're done. So this is our finished artwork, Torre de Pisa or Tower of Pisa in Italy. So please don't forget to take a photo of your softball drawing and a photo of your finished artwork. This one is due on May 1. Thank you!